Save 10% with my code BOBBY10 on raw, organic, grass-fed and grass-finished freeze-dried organ meats from Grassland Nutrition. Link in the description box. All right, guys, so welcome back to the channel. If you're new, my name is Bobby. Guys, today we're going to watch how a Taliban owns a feminist. This is taken from RTE News. This is a very short video, but nevertheless, there is a lot of value within it because you will see the difference between a theocracy, the Taliban have a theocracy established within Afghanistan, and of course, the liberal democracy that we see in the West. With no further ado, let's have a look. Um, I, I, I think that by, by ha it feels to me that women are being hidden away. I think I feel. And that's, that's the impression that, that you get, but I take your point. Are the nuns hidden away? Um, increasingly they're not. Nuns have moved on and they don't, you know, a lot of them now don't wear habits and yeah, they progress too. One point for Taliban leader, zero for feminist. He made a valid point there, the feminist not so much. Of course nuns are still within monasteries and of course they still cover, otherwise they wouldn't be nuns. Uh, you know, I guess that's... Hey, throwing away the veil that means it's progress. Well, no, I mean, maybe. Maybe, maybe it is. I don't know. Well, yeah, maybe, maybe it is, maybe it isn't. So why do you make that point then? You clearly said nuns progressed now and they're taking off the veil. This is what the West sees as progress. Hey, look at Iran before the Islamic occupation. Everybody was wearing bikinis. It was so nice. They were so progressive. So if you get more naked, then you get more progressive apparently. Guys, I'm here in Thailand. Thailand. And Thailand is a Buddhist country. However, if you see how local women go to the beach, you would be surprised. Local Thai women wear shirts and shorts to the beach. They do not wear bikinis. And I talked to them and asked them why they're not wearing bikinis to the beach. They simply told me, why would I? I'm not wearing my underwear outside either. And that makes perfect sense. But within a Western mind frame, out of a sudden, the beach is an exception. Hey, you can run around in a thong. You can run around in a bikini. This is progress. If, if by throwing away the veil you mean it's progress, then we're not progressing ever. If nice. by progress you mean scientific, social, economic development, we, will, we have progressed. We're actually the pioneers in, in those fields. I, I think I don't know if they're pioneers in that field, but I like the distinction here, of course. As I just said, what is so progressive about you getting more and more naked? She feels oppressed because she's sitting there with a hijab. He is wearing a turban. He is fully covered as well. Is the man oppressed? Again, I, I don't on? want to labor this point, but I think throwing away the veil, it's not about progression. It's about choice. It's about having <laughs> the choice to do something. And that does seem to be denied people here. Does the Western society give people the choice to walk around naked? Boom! Without any clothes? <laughs> they give people part. That is exactly the point. Within a society, you are valuing freedom. But what kind of freedom do you really have? If you look into the past two years, didn't you have to wear a mask? Yeah, well, but that is because of science. Who cares for the reason? That was the freedom that was taken away from you. Now you had to wear a mask. In that society, you will have to wear a veil. In your society to this very day, you still have to wear some clothes, even though they're getting shorter and shorter and shorter, and more and more is accepted, which you then confuse as progressivism. Nevertheless, the man is, of course, right here. You have certain boundaries. You cannot take off all your clothes. So there is a certain guideline for what you can and cannot wear. Personal choice to dress how they wish. No, in, in public. Will they give them the choice? They give no, them they, personal choice. Do they give choice? women and men the choice to walk around Will in you, public you absolutely naked? Yeah, you wouldn't walk around absolutely naked. That would but be indecent. Do, do they have the choice? That would be indecent, of course. That would be indecent. But when you see a woman in gym shark leggings, or when you see a woman with hot pants where the butt cheeks are hanging out, that is not indecent at all. No. Without being in their home, in public? In the, no, in public. In public, no, they wouldn't. That would be indecent. But they do saying. have the choice to no. wear what they want. And that is what we're saying. In the private homes, they can wear whatever they want. But in public, they have to have 
uh, modesty. Exactly. Just as the feminist leader thinks it is indecent to go out naked, the Taliban leader says, no, for us, for our society, it is indecent to go out without a veil. Why can't you accept that, feminist? With a, a burqa. With a veil. Yes. With a veil, okay. All right, guys, and this is already it for this quick video. As I said, it is very short, but nevertheless, a lot of value within it, a lot of information that you can extract by watching it. It is absolute hypocrisy. It is a standard of, I think, I feel. Who cares what you think, what you feel? What is it based upon? Why is it better to take your clothes off rather than keep them on? Why is it better to wear bikinis? What kind of choice are you truly given there? In certain countries you have the choice to consume all kinds of drugs is that a good choice now should you go after that in the west we can consume cigarettes and alcohol we have the choice at least who cares for that choice it's not good for you anyways and that is the whole point the taliban leader here bases his point on something he bases his point on islam he takes islam as a guideline and this is how they want to keep their society which is their given right anyways america occupied them for years on end and now they're finally gone and now they're crying again about oppression just as they're crying about qatar not wanting the football players to wear l you flex or not wanting alcohol served within the stadiums and people are complaining about it oh how could they then don't have the world cup in qatar if you don't like it and if you do then respect the country's values it's the same here with afghanistan finally they're under their own rule again and now the westerners are complaining yet again you cannot simply accept different cultures absolutely unbelievable if you like your western society so much just keep at it that's it even further i wouldn't even bring in immigrants i really have to say this if the western society is so convinced that their way is the best then don't bring any other cultures into your society just do your own thing keep the borders closed that's it and don't interfere with any country outside of your own premises either just let them do their thing you do your thing but yet again, it is absolute hypocrisy if you look at it. The Western society claims that they are all so liberalized, all so free. Free in what? Free in being degenerate? Free in taking your clothes off? Free in taking all kinds of drugs? free in selling your body on OnlyFans? Is that really the freedom that you signed up for? Is this really the freedom that you want? But at the same time, you see that your freedom is suppressed in all other ways. Oh, it's for your own safety. Oh, it's because of science. Oh, it is medicinal. If you make those claims, you see certain guidelines, certain restrictions within freedom based upon science, then you must accept that those people base their decision making on religion. All right, guys, and this is it for today's video. This is pretty much all I can say here without getting deleted yet again. And this is why I opened up a Rumble account. Please, guys, head over there and follow me on Rumble. Once I reach a thousand subscribers, I can start live streaming there and I can speak there freely, actually, with no censorship. Can you believe it? I'm on a Western platform, but I do not have freedom of speech. How does that work? Nobody knows. All right, guys, but this is it. If you like the video, leave the thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, guys please do so and if you want to further support this channel all the links are in the description box below thank you so much for your ongoing support as always may god bless you all much love and peace